a non-interference mode uh, with the uh, docking port on the Earth-facing side of the Zarya module. Uh, once uh, the fly-around is complete, the uh, period of station keeping will begin. This is a variable amount of time. Uh, it just depends on how comfortable uh, Oleg Kononenko is with the alignment of uh, the Soyuz uh, with the Rosviet docking port, as well as uh, with Russian flight controllers' comfort factor here at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. And once again, this view from space station-based uh, cameras looking at the Soyuz vehicle. Again, in the descent module, strapped into the center section of uh, the Soyuz, which is a three-section spacecraft in their Sokol launch and entry suits. Uh, in the left seat, European Space Agency uh, astronaut Andrei Kuipers, who is the board engineer working alongside uh, Ale Kononenko, the Soyuz commander, who's in the center seat. NASA's Don Pettit, the flight engineer, in the right seat of the Soyuz's descent module. Soyuz and the International Space Station passing over Mauritania, soon to pass over the Western Sahara as uh, it continues uh, its track from southwest to northeast, heading toward the uh, Mediterranean, and it's docking to the International Space Station about 18 minutes from now. Right. Uh, shining right in our eyes. Currently, it's floating out of our field of view. Happy. Range is 0507 is range rate. Rotating in uh, yeah. A pretty portrait of Northwest Africa as the Soyuz uh, orbits at an altitude of 249 statute miles, uh, beginning its roll program to orient its solar arrays in the proper attitude uh, for the uh, station keeping, and then uh, its final approach for docking to the Rosviet module, the fly around continuing at this hour as uh, Kononenko uh, monitors the automated uh, approach of the Soyuz for its link up to the Rosviet module that is scheduled about 16 minutes from now. Here at the Russian Mission Control Center in uh, Korolyov, a large delegation of uh, European VIPs are on hand, uh, Dutch representatives, and NASA's delegation tonight led by Bill Gerstenmeier, the Associate Administrator for Human Exploration Operations out of NASA headquarters, and Mike Suffredini, the International Space Station Program Manager. A large crowd on hand uh, two days before Christmas uh, to usher in uh, the resumption of six-man crew operations on board the International Space Station. We have Zav Khan, ISS Antari. Go ahead. Uh, Anton, we have uh, Zav Khan on the vehicle. The range is about 10 meters. The visiting vehicle officer in Mission Control in Houston reports uh, to Flight Director Mike Lammers that station keeping has begun just about. Uh, on the timeline within a few seconds of that. Again, this is a variable amount of time uh, to enable uh, both Kononenko aboard the Soyuz and Russian flight controllers here uh, to assess uh, the alignment of the Soyuz's forward docking probe with the Rosviet module docking port. The Soyuz uh, operated under the call sign Antares. That's uh, the name selected by Kononenko for his spacecraft during the launch to docking phase, as it will be called uh, during the undocking to landing phase uh, for these three crew members next May. We have uh, K-15 
Привет, это 15. Есть причал. We have approach. The visiting vehicle officer uh, confirms that final approach has now been initiated uh, on computer command. We're about 100 meters away from docking. The uh, station keeping uh, was the briefest uh, in terms of time, just a few minutes uh, worth uh, to uh, evaluate the alignment of the Soyuz. Everybody was happy, and so the command was given by Konrenyenko. Uh, to the automated computer program on board the uh, TMA 03M to resume the final approach for link up to the Rosviet module. Antares, uh, Antares. on Info 1, repair station keeping just in case so you can send it, but do not send it. Andre, open the approach, uh, approach this way, press zero, zero again, four, and put the arrow on station keeping, but do not send it, just make sure the arrow is pointing on station keeping, okay, the arrow is pointing to station range right. Soyuz and the International Space Station flying over the Mediterranean, about to cross the western coast of Italy, passing just to the south of Rome. Right now, the approach is placed. I can see the target. You can see... Uh, through the crosshair external engineering camera on uh, the Soyuz vehicle, looking right down the barrel of the Rosviet module docking port. At the lower right-hand portion of your screen, that is the permanent multipurpose module, the PMM, that was delivered to the International Space Station on the STS-133 mission, the final flight of the shuttle Discovery last March. Antares, you can prepare the SSFM display. Okay, Andre, to let the display. Okay. Six. Okay. Range rate is seven, and range rate is zero two two. Approaching. Uh, currently, the uh, target is almost. So you're now 50 meters away from docking, everything going smoothly, closing at a rate of two-tenths of a meter per second. The core's automated rendezvous system will lock on to a diamond-shaped docking target at the very lower portion of the uh, circular docking port itself as the frame of reference. Uh, Everything has been going very well with the core system. No issues, no hiccups to date. We should uh, be uh, standing by for confirmation of the retraction of the core's automated rendezvous antenna just a few moments from now. Yeah, Uh, we have uh, the message. Uh, Andre, bring up the approach uh, play. Yes, go ahead. A uh, very strong echo. Okay, yes, move the station to the play inside. Okay, copy. Range for uh, course data is 43 meters. A zero seventeen range rate. I'm sorry, it's how copy. I'm sorry, it's how copy. Uh, we copy you route and clear. On VHF one. 
We'll uh, be passing uh, within solid range of Russian ground stations just a moment from now. The Corps' automated rendezvous antenna has retracted on the Soyuz TMA 03M, now less than 40 meters away from docking to the Rosviet module, closing at a rate of one tenth of a meter per second, all systems functioning normally. Soyuz and the International Space Station flying over the uh, border between Romania and the Ukraine, yeah. soon to make a pass uh, over Eastern Europe, Southern Russia, and Kazakhstan. Twenty-five meters. This television from the Soyuz now over Russian ground stations, 20 meters away. The uh, range rate is zero, is there one, two, or one, five. Currently, uh, uh, zero, one, two is the range rate. Load echo is inaudible comments. Uh, the first hairs are in the center. Uh, 014 range rate. Inaudible range. So use now 21 meters away from docking. The uh, Corps' automated rendezvous system honing in on the docking target just uh, to the lower portion of the uh, circular docking port on the Rossviet module. Zero, Closing at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second. All the systems uh, are functioning normally. No issues associated so far with the final approach by Alec Kononenko, Andre Kuipers, and Don Pettit for their new home in orbit. Alec, uh, we uh, we'll watch the picture. Could you please provide comments? The range is about 15 meters. Uh, the target is in the center. Uh, the range rate is 011. Very loud interference. Uh, 012 is range rate. We have a uh, slight roll. We have straightened out. Uh, the target is in the center. The uh, range rate is 011 range. As 7 meters. We see slight roll. Uh, the target uh, went by a half degree to the left. The first hair is an overlay line. It's uh, point towards the center. Range determined in the range is about three meters. Uh, we're expecting contact. You can see the uh, crosshair camera as uh, the core system brings uh, the docking probe into alignment with the docking target. Now just seven meters away from docking, standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. It's in the center. Zero one one range rate. The target is in the center. Zero one one range rate. Expecting contact. We have contact. Yes, Kasania. We have capture. Yes, Mikhail. We have docking confirmed at nine nineteen a.m. Central Time over southern Russia. Docking confirmed. The Soyuz slides down the chimney at the International Space Station with an early Christmas present for the Expedition 30 crew. A return to a steady state six person crew capability. Okay, what we do? Draco tank pressure. Section 1150. 181. Uh, 
The visiting vehicle officer at Mission Control in Houston reports uh, that the docking probe has begun to retract. A flawless approach and docking for Ali Kononenko, Andre Kuipers, and Don Pettit. Docking occurring again at 9.19 a.m. Central Time, 7.19 p.m. Moscow Time over southern Russia.